Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. Another watercolour demo. Today I'm back in the Scottish Highlands. Um, simple little mountain scene. A little bit of water there along the horizon line. We've got this nice winding path. Uh, framed either side by these little rocks and things, and then little building I sc scraped into the uh, into the landscape there. Um, before I show you the colours I use, quick plug for the book, watercolour painting made simple. This is volume three, nine chapters in there, loads of photographs helping you through each uh, stage of the painting, right from start, right to finish. There's all the uh, all the paintings in the book, well most of them, just one other one. So that's on Amazon, it's hardback, softback, Kindle, all the, the links are now in the description. So let me show you the, uh, the colours I've used for this one. So here we've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizarding crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. I think I did use the whole palette for this one. The brushes, as always, 99% of it done with the, the large Ron Ranson A. And then she's got a couple of little rigger brushes, number three rigger, and then a tiny little one. That normally, I mean, often that's just for the bird or like a little figure in the painting. So I'll start off with a quick blast of water. Reload the brush and a little bit of raw sienna. Bit of background colour all the way down. Clean the brush. I'm going to get a bit of ultramarine, a bit of Payne's grey. And I'm just going to sort of dance my way around. In the blue. In the brush. I want a few clouds in the sky. I'm going to take those out <coughs> with this brush. So let's just lighten some of these backgrounds. Right now, time for the the mountain. So I'm going to take the same three colours. So I'm just going to dip the tips of the brush in the water just to bring all the ears back together, like so. Then we're going to a bit of raw sienna, ultramarine, Payne's grey. That's going to go something like up there, like that. Just point. Then down, there's a cross. Just a little bit of extra different colour in there. few little distant hills and things just across the water which will just be there. Now there's a bit of land in front of that so I'll just, just so that the profile stands out a bit better I'm just going to make a sort of misty, misty bit there. Just a bit in there like that. Let's clean the brush. I'm going to get a bit more Let's go, let's go light red, a bit of raw sienna, a bit of lemon yellow. We'll change the colour. Bring that down there. Bring that down. A bit of raw sienna, um, ultramarine. So I'll get it right in a minute. Burnt umber. Ultramarine. Now I want to get a bit of grass in there now. So I'm doing lemon yellow. Get on this side as well, I think. A bit of ultramarine. Then on 
back the light in red. That's just in right out into the water. Now what I want to do first, before I go any further, is just pop this this road road in. Now for the road, I'm just going to go a bit of a bit of light red, a bit of ultramarine. Clean the brush, back in the lemon yellow, lemon yellow, a bit of burnt umber, push that up to the, to the road. At this stage, it's looking, I think the whole painting is looking a bit boring. So, what I'm going to do is uh, just finish off first, once I've got it flat, I'm going to get it. Once I've got it flat, what I'm going to do is just bring the, the land right down to the bottom. I mean, it's, it's, it needs to be more atmospheric. I'm just going to sweep this in. Rewet it and try and just create a bit more, get a bit more atmosphere. So I'm going to dry it first. Top to bottom, and then this time, I'm going to wash the other in there. This time, I might introduce a bit of alizarin crimson actually. I just want to try and create just just create something more atmospheric. Bring those clouds in a bit more. A little bit lighter. Clean the brush. Just get those clouds a little bit lighter. I want a bit more blue in the sky. So back to the ultramarine. Just push that in a little bit. Back to the mountain again, same same colours as the sky. Back up to here. Bring that across there. Fuse over on the other side. What I might even do this time, possibly. Give it the odd little scrape. And 
So just a hint of a, a sort of edge there. Let's clean the brush. Just want to make some of that these ones a little bit finer. Now then, green, back into this, a little lounge at the base of this hill. A raw sienna in there as well. And back into the firm um, back. A bit of light red. There is like a little hut on this left hand side, so I want a, I want a little dark section so I can scrape into. make that lock a little bit straighter just want the water to be straighter just like that just tidy that little bit up there like that looks a little bit better I'm not so keen on that bit there so let's just take that out back into the Lemon yellow, bit of brown, bit of blue, a little red down there, I think. I'm hoping it up a little bit. What I'm going to do with the road is uh, take it out afterwards with a clean brush. Back into that yellow, Just brush that in. Ooh, on this side as well. well we've got some of the road already there, look. against this pool. What I've got is a whole mass of airs that have come off this brush. But I'm just going to leave them there I think. I'm just going to leave them. So what I'm going to do is just scraping just a little hot Come back to that in a minute. I want this quite sharp because it's quite narrow the bit at the top. Wait, it's the road just sort of sweeps round up there. I want to define that road a little bit better, so a nice dark mix. I'm just going to a bit of burnt umber, a bit of ultramarine. Push that over there. Take my 
Ну, не сорвали. I'll get away with a few little rocks and things on the edge and there's this road. grasses and things growing around. I'll switch to the other brush actually. Just give that a very quick dry. Like that there. So what I'm going to do is just use a brush like an eraser so as long as it's clean um, what else might say there just going to have to add it give it like a nice little flat cloud effect um, just give that a quick dry I'm trying to create some grasses and things in the foreground, so I'm quite a dark mix so that it stands out. I'm just going to a bit of red, a bit of blue, a bit of Payne's grey on there as well. Just a few little dabs here and there. Quite a dry brush now, so I know I'm not going to bring too much onto the paper. Let's just switch to the, uh, the the rigger brush. Switch to the rigger. I'm just going to go a bit of brown. Just any dark mix really will do the job. Bit of brown, bit of red, bit of blue. Just a few things in there like that. I think I'm going to stop it now, I think. I'm just get a little bird. A little bird flying right up there. And I'll call that one finished. So I'll just stick my name in the corner. Let's stick a mount on it and see what it looks like. 
So it is all mounted up. So if we go and have a closer look at it. Obviously this was done over sort of two separate washes. So it's uh, the second one, we've obviously ended up with this sort of effect. So lots of um, <clears throat> white cloud at the bottom, bit of blue up there. And then sort of the lizard and crimson pines grey for a few little darker clouds here and there. Put the mountain in, and then just scrapes the side. I sort of really have to restrain myself to just put that in that one little scraping, just to give it that that sort of hint of a mountain look. Um, I was going to go a bit a bit balmy with it all, but I think uh, as with most things uh, in painting, subtleties is always best. Bit of grass down the bottom, and then that brings us over to the sort of the water area. Just put in very, very simply, just basically by removing the paint there. Got there, put that. I mean that edge straighter, because that was a bit uneven. Give it that sort of water look. At the base of the mountain, we got this very, very simple little building. Just scraped out, just scraped the roof out, and then just put the sides in as well with the plastic card. Then coming towards the foreground, I've tried to vary it as much as I can. A few little dabs here with a hike, and a few little flicks with the rigger brush. It's quite a bit of texture. Same on the other side, coming down from the water. Varied it as much as possible. A few flicks with the rigger brush in the foreground. And then you can see where the, the road winds its way through to the water. And then I've sort of helped define the edge by scraping in these rocks. Put them, put them on either side as the road sort of twists and bends its way around to the water in the distance. Finding our little bird there up in the sky. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Um, keep practicing. Uh, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and I'll see you all again soon.